Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video we're going to be going over the Materia Garden EX2. I'm not sure how many people are struggling with this, but in case there are some, I figured I'd go ahead and make a guide for it, and I would use, you know, the weakest team that I could conceivably come up with. Uh, before I go into that though, real quickly, I just wanted to show two things that everybody needs to keep in mind. One, there is this once per day Materia Guardian quest, stage 8. Uh, kind of weird because it's, you know, like a little bit lower in the solo option, but you definitely want to make sure you do this because you get like, I don't know, I've been getting like 50 um, of these Ashura parts. So, you know, it's really not that bad. And, you know, like I said, they give multiple of these and then all this other stuff. It's pretty good. And it's, you know, not that difficult. The only other thing I wanted to show real quick before we do this is to remember if you're doing co-ops, that not only is the Tifa weapon, Tifa costume, Red 13 costume, uh, part of, you know, the bonus event stuff, but also the free weapon, Ashura, right? This gives you um, this little, you know, bonus reward stuff. And I've just been in a lot of random parties where either one or both uh, people that I'm partied with are not equipping anything to give any bonuses. And, you know, the fact that, we're running uh, the stage four, right, all the way up here, means you probably could go into the shop and pick up one if you haven't already gotten one. You might as well. It's efficient. Go for it. All right, so here we go. Materia Guardian EX2. I'm going to show the team setup. I'm going to be pretty brief because I don't think that it's that difficult. Uh, rebirth here, okay. This is the team that I used, 178.5k. I wanted to get it under the 180k threshold. So Aerith, she's set up for heals as much as possible, magic defense being the only priority otherwise. She's got a fire breach, she's got a way to cure poison, and she's got X sigil break. That's all you need. Uh, sub equipment, this is just for defensive stats, and I even have better items than this, but this is what we went with. Heals, heals. And I can tell you, if I didn't use a free weapon, other than this weapon, if I didn't use a free weapon, mostly it's because the free weapons I have would actually make my combat power higher. So that's how Aerith is set up. Sephiroth, he's kind of our utility guy. Uh, he does have Radiant Edge to decrease that fire resistance. Is it absolutely necessary? No, it's not. Uh, it also helps, though, that it's got this uh, Materia slot over here for fire ability damage plus 30%. Um, and so we have, you know, a stock standard fire blow, four star, not even that impressive of one in there. He has X sigil break, torn wing. Uh, honestly, I have better weapons, but they would, you know, make him stronger. So I was trying to do this again, you know, as uh, low power as possible. Uh, defensive stats, HP and regular stats, magic defense. That's it. I could put way better stuff in here than this. Uh, but yeah, pretty bare bones. Um, and then our, I guess, I don't even know if he is our main damage dealer, but Zach here. Uh, I am using Zach's costume because I did want the extra magic defense and HP, but I assume a lot of you will have something better. This weapon here, uh, we're just using a fire potency. I can tell you the actual ability. It would be better if I stuck in a fire materia. Um, but I wanted to do things as hard as possible to show you, you know, it can be done even if you're kind of struggling. Stat stick, stat stick. Uh, this here is X Sigil Break. He's got Ifrit. Obviously, Ifrit's going to be important. Uh, this is Physical Defense and Magic Attack. This is Magic Defense and HP. And uh, yeah, we're going to be using Ashura, which for a Magic Attack dealer is pretty good, especially because the Magic Defense is nice. And that's the team. We will get into the run. Let's go. Okay, so I've skipped past the first fight, right? You got to fight him twice. He's harder the second time around skip past most of the first one but just wanted to show you just want to make sure you have your summons and all of your limits and everything ready okay so from this point on uh we go and we fire breach we follow it up with sephiroth's move this will give us the mid potency defense down mid potency fire breach other than that i'm going to make sure that everybody has enough hp here to you know sustain this trine hit switch our stances we're not using the um Limits in the summon yet because we know we're going to take a lot of damage here and because we have Aeriths up We're going to try to go ahead and just do them all at once that way we get the heal in as well I used another one of these uh, lies from Sephiroth. Sephiroth 
I don't know why I was mistaken. It didn't need to stack up any higher. It was already maxed out. So there was no point in that, but it's going to be fine. So we do the super combo. We heal with Aerith. We hit the Astral Gate. And uh, we're going to hit the Ifrit. And you'll see, I mean, Ifrit does pretty good damage. And this is not super high fire potency. Obviously, there's no Master or Arcanum. Uh, but it does, it does chunk him down pretty well. So from here, mostly... Uh, you just need to focus on staying alive and I think that we're perfectly set up here to do that um, because we you know we've got good heals now just kind of alternatively another way that you could probably do this fight this boss he can be debuffed in every single meaningful way so if you don't have you know what I have in this setup I think you could it's perfectly reasonable to think that you could bring Tifa in and you could debuff his magical attack, you could debuff his physical attack to where basically he doesn't hurt you very much. Fight might take a little bit longer without a second, you know, fire damage dealer. Uh, but I don't see a reason why that couldn't work out for you just as well. Uh, because I think this fight, I mean, we've made it take a pretty considerably long time. And I don't see any real big problems here. So just remember also that uh, the healing is soon a poison. If you're, I mean, it does like 50% heal. So I think if your person that you're healing with the poison is low on HP, it is worth doing a stance switch for it, uh, just to get them an extra heal. I think it's just it's worth the efficiency basically. Uh, he will eventually start charging this up again. Um, I think we would probably be in a little bit of danger here. Uh, for Zack dying, but would probably be able to finish him off even if it did happen. However, if it comes up and we're able to go ahead and finish the fight off, really not that bad. And again, that was a team that was 178.5k. So hopefully this helped you if you were struggling. Um, if you need a little bit more help, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'd be willing to give as much advice as I can. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, just know that I appreciate each and every one of your support, and as always, thanks for watching.